surprised by the Twitter files. No one is surprised by it. You notice how the media didn't cover it at all. Zero. Zilch. Just rocket man bad. It's a great question. How do you stay so positive with all that goes on? Is there a trick to dealing with it? I'm not going to lie. It gets hard. Um, it really does get hard not to become negative and cynical, especially when you see again and again and again people behave in ways that are so just damn insane. Um, after you've gotten some training and you spend some time and th really think deeply about the consequences of propaganda, it's really not hard to see when people have been propagandized. Um, so propaganda, and you can look for the symptoms of it, mention polarizing subject X, Y, Z, a person will immediately develop a strong emotional reaction to it, positively or negatively, and have strong opinions that aren't their own. They didn't come up with them. They've been installed in them. And then when you try to show them contrary facts or evidence, they just, no burden of proof is capable of dissuading them. Okay, so... The, They'll say, like, there's a video of this guy murdering someone. I don't know, it's made up, it's a deep fake. Uh, that's propaganda in a nutshell. We all suffer in some way from it. Where it's it's a it, mass media is constructed in a way to do that because it gives people power. As long as we hate each other, we can't pay attention to the people running things. It's that simple. Um, all these wedge issues that divide people, at the end of the day, we don't talk about energy. We don't talk about money. We don't talk about education. We don't talk about sustainability. We don't talk about the consequences of globalization. We don't talk about consent. We don't talk about rights, fundamental human rights, the preservation of them. You know, we don't talk about rights of passage. We don't talk about the preservation of traditions that have carried humanity for thousands of years through all of these things, all of these things, we tend to just ignore because orange man bad or Biden is demented or pick your favorite wedge issue. Why? Because propaganda is used to make us ignore those things. Now, there's other people who do think about those things and they have very thought out opinions about what to do and where to go. And they get to make decisions about those things because we let them because we're so distracted by the other things. Mass media has no point in informing you. CNN, Fox News, Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, these things don't actually exist as journalistic organizations. There's no such thing as investigative journalism. There's no such thing as objective truth in journalism. They read all these books about history, okay? Movies coming out next year about the history of theory. Do you think that's a true thing? It's just narrative. It's made up to do a purpose, to who these people are. Um, and they get paid money. They get fame. They get success. They get power uh, from being in these circumstances. So it's hard to stay positive because you see all the people, they get caught up in it and they get absorbed into the propaganda. And you can mock them. You know, they sit in a car alone themselves with a mask on, 26 boosters worried to death that some disease is going to kill them that's been floating around now for three years uh, and not really listening to anybody say anything to the contrary, deplatforming people. They get super angry about various things. You can't convince them otherwise. Trump won the election. It just happened. And everything else is a lie. No evidence to the contrary can be used to produce. So, you know, what do you do? You know, you just have empathy for them and sympathy for them as people and there needs to be a great deprogramming. It happens organically, you know, because people subconsciously, the propaganda can't get deep enough into the brain that it completely overrides and brainwashes everything. There's always an, an easy tension that exists when a person's been propagandized between the perception of truth and the reality of truth, and they feel it and taste it. And they don't necessarily know how to vocalize it, but they just feel an unease, like they're standing on quicksand. And there in that gap is the opportunity for truth to grow. And counter philosophies are required for it to uh, inoculate people from the mind viruses that are given on a regular basis. 
it makes me sad more than anything else. I try to stay positive, but I'm just sad because we could do so much better. If we all just got along and worked together with the technology that we have, we really could deliver to the world a utopia. Instead, we hate each other. And we gain nothing from hating each other.